there everyone and welcome to my coloring corner today of course is flips and fun stuff Friday I couldn't get that out for some reason and we've played with all of all of the fun stuff now it's time to do some flips and this is not any less than the fun stuff because I've got some absolutely gorgeous gorgeous books here this artist is Teresa Goodrich and she color or she draws for creative haven the things that she draws are so meticulous um she has so much detail in her drawings they're absolutely gorgeous now i told you about this one yesterday um and that i was going to flip through it but last night when my husband brought the mail in i also had this one in the mail so you didn't know about this one this one's a bit of a surprise so we'll be flipping through that one as well and we will also be doing the draw for this wonderful wonderful book the 50 splendid princesses so the draw will be done after the flip throughs and we will try to get through those as quickly as possible without um missing anything so let's do romantic country scenes first and we'll do the brand new one later now this is an older book it has been out for a little while um but i didn't have a whole lot in the way of valentine's day type pictures to color i have a few and now I have a few more because I also got a book in recently um, of Jane F. Hankins' uh, Valentine's Day. So I have a few now, but I brought this, bought this book before Jane. So, and I did purchase both of these books. These were not uh, given to me by by Teresa or by the publisher. Now. I the one thing that I absolutely adore about these books is they are perforated. So I don't actually have to cut them. I just have to pull out the pages, which is awesome. All right. So the first page here, of course, is Romantic Country Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodrich. And it's a Dover Publications out of New York. And it has this absolutely wonderful picture of a horse and carriage ride. And of course, a colored picture on this side of one of the pictures in the book. And then we have this scene. And of course, it has a little blurb here about the book. It has 31 black and white images, um, all about the romantic getaways. So we have a very romantic little picnic going on here with some food and wine and music out on the country farm. And then we have the horse and carriage ride through the park. And of course, this is the horse and carriage on the front, um, the first page there. And then of course we have the love boat with the sweet couple kissing and the ducks, and flowers. Gotta have a love boat. And then we have the sled ride going up to the winter mountains and you know sledding and everything else. The end of winter, just before Valentine's Day. Absolutely fantastic. I love the details that she puts in, like the birds up in the sky, you know, the snowflakes, just absolutely gorgeous detail. You know, even the railings on, on this uh, chalet there, absolutely wonderful. And then we have the cuddle at the cafe, having coffee and sitting together with their doggy beautiful beautiful pictures and the paper in this book is fantastic it's not too thin not too thick just really 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 lovely paper 
And then we have the champagne on the beach. Another absolutely gorgeous picture with the boat and the peoples on the boat. And just so many details like the beach furniture there and the coconuts in the trees. You know, just wonderful, wonderful detail all the way down to the bubbles and the champagne. And then kissing in the rain, being in Oregon, this happens a lot. <laughs> we just don't use umbrellas as much. <laughs> just beautiful. You know, even the raindrops coming down is just splashing in the puddles. And camping. I don't know why I don't do tent camping so <laughs> it looks like they're having a good time though and that's all that matters on Valentine's Day is that you have good time with the one you love and then we've got a sweet couple there having a sit on the beach and a talk over there by the bar it's the seashells and the starfish, coconuts. This looks like a very tropical, warm place. And then, of course, the romantic picnic with the hammock out in the yard. Oh, well, could be the yard, could be a park. You never know. And then, of course, there's the ice cream. Got to have. You know, romantic dates and walks and everything. Got the presents there for each other. And then, of course, we've got a wonderful, wonderful little picnic spot on the little river there with a um, well, a wishing well. Oh, and the little bunnies. Like I said, every picture has so much detail in it. Um, every time I look at one, I see something different and something new. And when I color her pictures, you find even more detail. You look at a picture and go, oh, that was a really nice picture. It shouldn't take uh, you know, forever to color. And then you start finding the details and the small, intricate little bits. A beautiful couple out shopping in the market. And then we have a wonderful little romantic starlight dinner setting or candlelight dinner setting. Absolutely beautiful. And then going, a, lovers going for a horseback ride. I'd always get worried about getting squished by the horse. <laughs> and going for a lovely walk in, in the castle gardens, in the royal gardens. Beautiful castle back there. Absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, we've got the village skating rink. That's definitely where most teenagers fall in love. When I was a kid, anyway, it was either at the skating rink or at the roller rink. And then we've got a wonderful picture of a lovely, relaxing puppy in the yard with the laundry. This is the picture that is colored on the front page. And then we've got a wonderful 50s diner. And saying goodbye at the railroad station. That's always hard. When you have to say goodbye to loved ones is always hard. Whether they're going on a trip or going away forever. And of course, on a wonderful... Uh, bench swing with the kitty kitty and what a great looking cat looks all plump and fuzzy 
Nice furry cat. Lots of flowers, of course. And then we've got a, another type of boat. And some ducks. And some hydrangeas. And wonderful horse and a windmill. Just some, the, the intricate little details. Like there's just so many little details that are so wonderful. Like I said, you see something every time you look at them. And of course, we've got a beautiful wedding picture. And beautiful bride in her gown and the groom heading towards the reception area. And then we've got a wonderful couple looking at the scenery and pointing things out. You had a bistro type of setting. And then we have the Western couple looking over their ranch. All different little details like the butterflies. Wonderful little birds, the sheep. Just so cool. I just absolutely love her work. It's just so fantastic. And then the hot air balloon. The, you know, Roman... Uh, Romantic getaways and, and scenes would not be would not be a, right without a wonderful hot air balloon ride. Especially over the farm country. And then we have a wonderful tandem bicycle ride. Again, some more butterflies, lots of beautiful flowers through the woods. And we have the country fair, or the county fair, I should say. And of course, a wonderful walk over a covered bridge. Absolutely beautiful. And a wonderful carousel ride is definitely a very romantic setting. And then we have a lovely boat ride again. This one looks like they're paddling, which is cool. Very nice little ducks, wonderful butterflies. And then we have the last page, which is also in the book for you to color that somebody has colored already. And it just shows you all of the different details that you're going to find in these pictures. For example, I didn't notice all of these wonderful things in the window. I was too busy looking at this part of the picture. All of these wonderful flowers up here. And it's just amazing as you color the details you find in all of her all of her work. Absolutely gorgeous. And here's yet another colored one that is in the book, which is the train station. So that is the Romantic Country Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodrich published by Creative Haven and Dover Publications. And now we're going to take a look at another one by Teresa Goodrich. And this one is fairly new. And I know that a lot of you have this book already. I did not. And I have seen so many beautiful, beautiful things come from this book. And it just, it made me feel um, nostalgic for travel and all that sort of stuff with everything that's going on right now. We can't travel. We know this. So coloring in a book that has a lot of travel uh, in it and takes you all around the world is definitely something that we should definitely take a look at. So let's start here with our main page. And again, it's fully perforated, so you can just pop those pictures out. I'm a book turner or a page turner, so when I'm coloring, it's a lot easier for me to be able to just take the page out. 
And here we have a wonderful Paris scene, or it could be a Seattle scene, all depends. It might even be Seattle. Yeah, it looks like the Eiffel Tower though. And then we have a wonderful spa type scene or a uh, cabana or that sort of thing. Looks very relaxing. And a lovely sailboat. And here is the picture off of the front there, which gives you some water and definitely looks French. And then we have a wonderful hotel here and a crabbing ship, a fishing ship, fishing boat. Looks like places that I used to go camping. <laughs> and then we have a gorgeous little cottage here with some deer. Absolutely beautiful. That I wouldn't mind going to right now. And then we have a wonderful city scene with her walking her dog on the water. Oh, safari. And they've got some elephants and giraffes. And the safari truck and taking pictures of all the wonderful animals. And then we have a Mexican shopping center with some hats and beautiful rugs, all sorts of different, the sugar skulls, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful things, maracas, earrings, just fantastic. And then we've got another wonderful cabin in the woods with a wonderful water wheel pond, little duckies. Oh, and a bunny. There's a bunny. I love bunnies. Bunnies are cool. Then we have tulips and a windmill. So I think we're in the Dutch country here with some sheep. So cute. I just love these little tiny sheep. <laughs> like I said, so many details. There is so much going on in every picture and it all works together. It all fits, which is just wonderful. Absolutely love this. Wonderful kayaking or canoeing across the river there. A little sailboat over there. Another little boat here. Just wonderful. And on the train, Going down the tracks. Looks like uh, one of those electric trains. And another city scene, riding the bicycles. All the people in the park. And the city behind them there, the town. And then we've got the ski resort with the chairlifts and the skiing and the snow. Lots of snow in the chalet up there. And then we've got this fantastic beach scene. I love these boats. And I love the fact that she's got books in her bag. <laughs> That's so cool. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And then we've got a one. This is just beautiful. A lovely pond scene with a beautiful swan and some koi fish and a deer. Of course, the lily pads and the lily flowers. Just gorgeous. Waterfall. Oh, and a castle. That is a wonderful looking castle. I would not mind going there at all. And then we go into Egypt with the pyramids and the camels, the desert sands, 
and then we go camping. So much camping. This time they brought the dog and they're having lunch. Boats, wonderful pond there. Of course, some more cabins. And then we have this wonderful ocean front scene, uh, maybe from Spain or something like that. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Just love all the details, like the fruit and the trees and the flowers and the trees. Fantastic. And then we are in an Asian city with some topiaries and the roof lines. I love these roof lines. Looks like a, and the frog. There's a frog. I like frogs too. I'm not very good at coloring frogs, but I like frogs. Then we have a wonderful country scene out on the horse farm with the apples and the apple trees and the horses. And then we're back on a wonderful little city street with the cat and the dog. Really lazy, lazy city street. Um, you know, those little alleyway type streets that they have uh, in Greece and Rome and Italy and Spain. And then we have a wonderful picture of a lighthouse out on the ocean, keeping watch over the boats. Absolutely beautiful. I love the, the waves that she puts in, crashing up on the, the rocks there. And then we have a cute little fishing scene with the puppy dog sleeping and the ducks. Wonderful house going down into the water with the boat. And then we have another large city scene in the park looking over the city. Don't know what city that is though. It could be so many different cities nowadays. Just wonderful. I'm trying to see if there's a name on the boat. Absolutely fantastic. And then another hot air balloon ride. And this looks like it's through the canyons of um, the Grand Canyon and that sort of thing. Beautiful. I love this balloon. It is such a great balloon. The birds flying around it and the clouds around it. Wonderful. And we've got a gondola going down the river in, I do believe it's Spain that they have those. And a beautiful picture of a wonderful fountain. I don't know where this is. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to guess. It's just gorgeous though. And another gorgeous picture and this looks like a royal um, place in well it's got a cross up there so it may even just be a type of church but it, I think it's a royal castle of some sort sort of like um, the one Jasmine from the uh, genie in the lamp kind of castle and then we're in London with the bell tower, the, the clock tower there. Of course, there are double-decker buses and they're wonderful little cars. And another very relaxing little area next to the pool. Out in the terrace. And then, of course, a colored scene that is in the book that I was trying to see if the name of the boat's on there. And there is a name on the boat, but I can't see it very well. So somebody with better eyes might be able to see what it says. Or, you know, maybe if Teresa watches this, she can tell me what it is. But it's an absolutely gorgeous um, city scene. 
beautiful towers and apartment buildings, wonderful waterway. It kind of actually looks like Portland. <laughs> so it does. It actually looks like the bridge going from Portland to um, Washington. So, and I may, you know, just be biased because I, I live in Oregon and I've traveled over that bridge so many times, but that's just me. <laughs> it probably isn't, but it's definitely up to your imagination on where you want to go and how best to get there. And of course, with this day and time, the best way to get anywhere nowadays is to color. So I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Of course, it's a fantastic book. It is beautifully drawn by Teresa Goodrich. The pages in all of their books of uh, the Creative Haven Company's books through Dover Publishing are always wonderful, wonderful paper. They choose their, their products very, very nicely and very well. So we have flipped through Romantic Country Scenes by Teresa Goodrich, as well as Wish You Were Here, the newest of her books, also by Teresa Goodrich. And now I'm going to actually switch you on over to uh, the other um, screen so that you can see what I'm going to be doing here. Now, we have seven entries into our wonderful contest to win this fantastic book called 50 Splendid Princesses by Camelia Anjakova. And it's an absolutely adorable book. And I hope that whoever wins this book really enjoys it. So I'm going to go over to that random.org and I'm going to put in the numbers one through seven and I'm going to hit generate and we will see who wins. So number five and I actually think that number five removed her entry. So let's try that again. I'm just going to check just to make sure but I think number five is no longer there. So just give me 20 seconds here and we'll take a look and we'll see who won if number five is still eligible or entered. Just kind of fine. There it is. And we have number five. Who is number five? Let's see. There's one. Six, seven, four. Yes, so number five actually removed her entry, so she is not eligible. So let's try that one more time and hit generate. So it is number four, and number four is Melissa. So Melissa, 61272. If you can please uh, make sure that you send me a private message either on Facebook or via my email address that is listed on the channel of your postal address, I will be happy to get this out to you as soon as possible. So again, I'm just going to put that down here in the ba banner and I'm just going to pop me back over. So entrant. And of course, you can look at your entrant numbers. Um, they are next to your name or under your name when you answered the question. Entrant number four, which is Melissa. And I spelt that wrong. Uh, oh, sorry about that. I just went over to the wrong camera. So Melissa, and 
I'm just going to actually do this. Copy so that I don't spell it wrong again. <laughs> All right. And that is the winner of our Splendid Princesses draw. So, Melissa61272, if you can please contact me either via email or on the Facebook uh, group, if you are a member of the Facebook group, and send me a private message, and I will be happy to get that book out to you. Congratulations. I really hope you enjoy it. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching um, this wonderful flip through of these two fantastic books. Again, I want to thank you for entering into the giveaway. And again, Melissa, congratulations. And I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to all of the videos today. I know there are quite a few of them. Um, if you are not already a subscriber, please do hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. It will give you all of the information about any video that I do upload or when I do go live. Also, if you're not a member of our Facebook group and do want to be a member of the Facebook group, of course, hit the little link down below, down there. And, uh, you know, of course, fill out the application form. When you fill that out, we will get you in there as quickly as possible. We do have lots of people watching over that. So it, you don't usually sit around waiting too long. And most importantly of all, and absolutely one of my mottos in life is always relax, color, and stay safe. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now.